Welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday, presented by Delta Media Group, where we're curious. Is it just us, or did everyone in the late 1700s have a really good voice? King George in particular. Just curious. So, today we have a, uh, we have a quick one for you. Um, but I feel like it's an important one, too. What we've done is we have taken a lot of the different notification settings in the Delta Net, um, how you get notified for leads, how you get notified of certain system-generated emails, that kind of thing, and we have consolidated all those settings in order to simplify your management of them. Um, previously, if you wanted to manage lead settings, for example, or lead notification settings, you'd have to go into your lead settings and then find them among the other settings there. Now, I'm just going to go up here and click on the Settings button, which I'll add... We've also consolidated all of the settings in Delta Net 6 under that settings button. <laughs> and from here, you'll see we have a new button that's titled notification settings. Now keep in mind on this settings page, I can also search for things. So not every setting is showing up here by default. Um, but if I want to find additional settings, I can just type it up here and you can see it will narrow down to the setting I'm looking for. So if I were looking for domain settings, for example, I type that in and there we are. So we'll get rid of that. But we'll take a look at our notification settings page. So I'm just going to click on that tile, and here we are. So the first thing at the top, we have a field that allows you to determine where it is these notifications will be sent. So by default, it's going to use your public email address, as it says here. However, if you wanted to go to an address that is different than what you have set as your public email address, or you wanted to go to multiple addresses, you can type all those in here. Just keep in mind that if you wanted to go to additional addresses, you have to include your public email address in here also. So for example, if that were my public email address, I would have to put it in here again before I add additional addresses if I wanted to go to more than one address. Um, and just put a comma between them and I can put as many addresses here as I want. Um, so that is how I can set this up to go to multiple addresses or just a different address. Now the next thing I can do is I can choose what kind of notifications I get from some of the system notifications here. So this classifies the digest notification, and I can turn that on or off just by checking this box. Um, the digest is a monthly digest email that will go out to you, and it depends on what company you're in as to how often you get it or whether you get it at all, really. But when it goes out, it gives you some information about what happened the previous month. Just a quick digest, here's how many new leads came in, here's how many new listings were added, things like that. So if you want to turn that email on or off, you would do that here. This is the new listing tips email. This will go out whenever a, a new listing of yours is added to the system. And we just send out an email that says, we see you have a new listing, and here are some things you can do with it. Like we recommend that you set up an e-card, that kind of thing. So that will all be in that email. But if you want to turn that email off, you can do that here. And we have AdWizard notifications. So this is going to be specific for AdWizard. Um, if you set up any ads through AdWizard, this is, is what allows that system to send you notifications. Um, if you don't want to receive those, you would just turn this off. Or alternatively, if you don't have any AdWizard ads, like you're not using that, then obviously you won't get notifications there either. <laughs> um, then the next one in line here is the upcoming email digest. And you can see down here, sends an email if there are campaign, e-card, or e-blast emails scheduled to go out in three days. The idea here is that it gives you kind of a... Um, a preemptive notice to let you know there are some emails that are about to go out on your behalf. So if you want to make any changes, you've got time to go into the system and change those. And then next we have the daily digest, and you can see what it says here. It currently sends a daily email with your uncompleted tasks that are due today or past due up to one month. So this is how you would turn that particular notification on and off as well. Uh, to use it, you just check or uncheck the boxes, fill in the email addresses as you'd like, and then just hit update notifications, and that will update these notices. Now the next notification that you can control here is for my portfolio, you have um, the system can email you automatically whenever a customer adds, changes, or deletes a saved search. So this has to do with the my portfolio accounts that your public customers will have when they come to the site and make changes. So you can have it email you there, or you can also have it email you whenever a customer saves a listing. So if someone that's assigned to you or someone that you've imported into the system goes to your website, they look around and they save a listing, if this is checked, you'll get an email that indicates that they saved a listing. So you know to go in and check on it. Just like the section above, Checked means that it's on, unchecked means that it's off, and then you just hit update notifications to update your settings there. And the next piece here is more specifics that have to do with the email and SMS notifications. So from here, so we had the 
this notification email address above. Now we have this email notification address that is specific to lead notifications. So when a new lead comes into the system and is assigned to you, or a customer that's already assigned to you, for example, goes to your website and asks for um, you know information about a listing, this controls what email address those are sent to. So again, by default, it will use your public email address. But if you want it to go to either additional email addresses or different email addresses, this is where you would define them. And just like the field above, it, it won't always include your public email address. So whatever you put here replaces your public email address. Therefore, if you want it to go to that address plus other addresses, make sure to put your public email address in here, and then a comma, and then whatever additional email addresses you want it to go to. This is particularly useful for teams. If you want the notification, a lead notification that gets assigned to the team account to go out to all of the team members, you have the ability to do that here. Now the next piece of this is send lead and system SMS notices. So what this allows you to do is to find a phone number that you want to receive text messages whenever you get these notifications. So in addition to getting an email, you can get a text. To set it up, you just click add new number, and then you just put your phone number in here. You can send yourself a test to make sure it's working if you'd like, and then hit update. Now one thing particularly useful here is again for teams if you have more than one team member that you want to receive these notifications and you want them to get the text message for them you can just keep hitting add number and it'll keep adding additional phone number fields so that allows you to put some more in there so that everybody gets a text message notice when a lead comes in and like the other sections when you have it set up the way you want you just click update notifications and then you are set to go um, you'll also have this removal button on each of these as you go. So if down the road you had some addresses in here and you wanted to take them out, you could do so by going back to this page, using the little trash can to get rid of them, and then hit update, and that'll remove those. So there you have it. Those are our new consolidated notification settings. Um, the whole idea is, you know, we want to improve the workflow to make your life a little bit simpler when it comes to adding these things in. So as always, Thanks a lot for joining me. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to send an email into support at deltagroup.com or give us a call, and we'll be happy to help you out with whatever you need. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next week.